Shalom everyone from Cozy Corner. I trust that you had a most enjoyable Hanukkah and Christmas celebration. And as I said yesterday, there was a time where I really resisted and I, the whole thing about Christmas, because we know that Yeshua wasn't born at this time of the year, but any time that we are worshiping the Lord Yeshua is good. As long as it's Yeshua from the Gospels, any time we're focusing on Him and we're giving Him the glory is good. It's never bad. So I wanted to share candidly, which is why I'm sharing from the cozy corner right now. I've had major breakthroughs in the area of love. I've always been a loving person. Last night, a friend of mine paid me a beautiful compliment. She said to me, you love extravagantly, and that's because of his extravagant love for me. And the areas where I'm having the breakthrough now is in the area of love. You know, the scripture says that love covers a multitude of sins, and I'm getting a much, much deeper understanding of that. Um, I'm nearing a big birthday in April, and I'm so glad that I'm having this breakthrough at this time in my life. It's definitely due. I remember many years ago, a counselor had said to me, we were talking about somebody in my life, and she said, you need to let him off the hook, something like that. And, you know, honestly, I didn't understand it. But I think this breakthrough now is attributed to the deeper relationship that I have with Yeshua and just knowing his love in my heart, I don't know that I could ever, I, I don't think I could ever touch the, the depths of his love and understand that, but I certainly have it more inside of me now. And that is what allows me, when I know his love, it allows me to let people off the hook, so to speak. No one is perfect but God. And when a relationship is so precious and valuable to us, and it's a safe relationship, we can make the choice, the conscious decision, I am putting this behind me. I'm putting this, this, this thing that's happened between us, I'm putting it behind me and I want to start over. There was a time in my life when I could not let go. I couldn't let go of what had happened. I needed certain things to happen, I, you know. But I am so happy to report, and I want to be transparent because I know there's some of you out there that are struggling with this because you are imperfectly perfect. You are a frail human being, and we all struggle with these things. And my, the whole purpose of this channel is to encourage people to continue moving on with God, to forgive yourself, forgive others, love yourself. Don't allow the enemy to discourage you and get you into a pit. God has come to encourage you. He's come not only save you, but to daily give you encouragement from way down in the depths of you and your kishka, so to speak. So what a relief to be able to let people off the hook, to be able to start over again. Now, I'm not talking about relationships that are not safe. I'm talking about relationships that have been safe. You know, God will lead and direct us in every relationship, but we need to be listening. It's not like this is the recipe. No, every situation is different, just like witnessing and sharing the Lord. Every situation is uniquely different. Let's not be religious about anything, you know. The law of Yeshua is higher than any other law, and that should keep us busy uh, making sure that we're right before the Lord and that we're living a holy and pure and righteous life, which the Bible tells us we can because we have the spirit of Yeshua living and breathing and dwelling within us. So I believe, in summary, to the depths of what we understand of God's love in our hearts, not intellectually, we can release other people because we know we've all fallen short of the glory of God and there's no one perfect but God. And the ultimate is a marriage situation. How does a husband and wife go on with each other if they can't forgive? The only way to go on in honesty and integrity is to forgive. I'm not talking about abusive situations. Make sure you hear me because a lot of believers are in denial about domestic violence that they're living in because after all, I got married in the eyes of God. And so people live in denial that what's happening to them is really happening. So I'm talking about a non-abusive, safe relationship 
where we fail each other, not on purpose. We love each other, but we are frail human beings, and we've got to come to terms with that. So God bless you from his resting place forever, Yerushalayim.